Alrighty, so maybe we're not having the best start when it comes to technology tonight with like crazy loud sirens. And as you guys can probably see, it's still frozen on the screen there. But hey, I want to highlight a couple of things from that DVD clip because I absolutely love that clip. And it's not because that's my gorgeous wife. It's, it's got nothing to do with it that I love that clip. You guys are supposed to say R at that point, by the way. So that's your cue. Uh, he thinks his wife is gorgeous. No. What I love about that clip there is what we begin to see is a picture of God working in Kat's life before she's even aware of what's really happening. So God is changing her, God, God is unmeeting her needs and challenging her, and all of this is underpinned by prayer. Everything that's going on there is underpinned by prayer. I don't know about you guys or your parents and what they sort of do, but one of the things that Ken and I love to do when we're hanging out, just the two of us at night and that kind of stuff, do we like to go for walks together, we like to go for runs together, on Saturday we like to go swimming together. And every single time we sort of go for a run together, it doesn't matter if it's a short run, a fast run, or a long run, we'll get to the driveway and I'll be just like, Ugh. and I'll be coughing, and I'll be splattering, and I'll have like sweat just dripping off me like crazy, it is pretty disgusting, I am not a pretty picture after a run. But Kat, having done the exact same run, well, she'll get to the end and she'll be like glowing and she'll be, she'll be wearing these like sexy tight pants and um, this little like, I don't know, running tank toppy thing and she just looks gorgeous. She's just radiating. It's so totally unfair. But what I want you guys to get is, well, what would happen or how would our runs go, our swims go, if Kat still had asthma? Would it be me killed over at the end or would that just be something we couldn't do together? What would life be like if somebody hadn't prayed for Kat? It's a good question. The other one that I was thinking about is Peter. That's Kat's father-in-law. I had the privilege of meeting him a year after he became a Christian. And in the six years that I've known Peter and, and grown closer with him as I married his daughter and became his son-in-law and all the rest of it, I've seen him changing as Christ has been working him. So I've seen him become a better father in the way he approaches his children, the way he prioritizes them, the way he seeks to actually spend time with them has changed in the last six years. Or if you look at work, he's a chemical engineer, he's a project manager, and it's normal to go from job to job to job. But that used to be what he sought to do, from go from one place to another place, and he didn't build relationship. But when I look at him now and he goes to a new job, he's like, man, I want a job that's not about a six month project or a one year project. I want a place I can stay at for a long time. I want to meet people. I want to know people. I want to impact people. And that's a major change since he became a Christian. But the most important and the coolest thing about Peter, Kat's dad, is since he became a Christian, he's now got like this infectious, kind of annoying sometimes actually, this is infectious personality about him that no matter what's going on, he's like, hey, guess what? I want to tell you about what Jesus has done in my life. I want to tell you about this Jesus guy. And he's just pretty much always just going out there and talking to people about the Jesus difference in his life. But what I want you guys to get is that these two stories, the story about Kat not having asthma and the story about Kat's dad finding salvation, both of them began with prayer. And that's what I want to talk to you guys about tonight. I want to talk to you guys about prayer. So we're going to begin, we're going to lay a foundation. Hopefully technology is going to work. We're going to lay a foundation in prayer and we're going to get into God's Word tonight. So let's pray. 